In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to play Roblox on iPad with keyboard and no mouse. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to set up a keyboard so you can play Roblox on your iPad. So, you will be able to connect an external keyboard. Usually, this will be done through Bluetooth. However, if you have a specific model, you can also connect it through a cable. Once the keyboard is detected, however, what you will notice is that if you try opening up Roblox by default and press Pressing any buttons on the keyboard, no inputs will be registered. This is because Roblox on mobile does not have support for external keyboards. So while it is still possible for you to do this, you will have to do additional setups. So first, make sure that it is connected. If you still need to connect your keyboard over something like Bluetooth, make sure that it is enabled. So go into the settings, access Bluetooth, and once you are here and it is enabled, put your keyboard into pairing mode. Choose it from the list of available devices, and only once it is connected, you will be able to start the process. So because Roblox doesn't detect any inputs that you do on the keyboard, you will have to set them up manually. So go to the accessibility category, and in here, access switch control. Essentially, what you are going to be doing is assign an action to each button. So an example would be pressing W makes it so your character walks forward. So you can do this by swiping the screen and every time that you press W, it is going to perform this action of swiping the screen on the joystick. Likewise, you can press S to walk back and all that you have to do is record a gesture of you swiping backwards. This way, you swipe, you make all of the gestures that you want to use and you assign them to specific buttons on the keyboard. It is unfortunate that you have to do this for everything, but it is the only way to get a keyboard to work. So make sure that switch control is enabled and then you can create all of the switches that you want to use. So if there is a specific button that you use on a mini game, make sure that you create it here. Make sure that you do the basic functions like space to jump, WASD to move, and so on. I hope I was able to help you on how to play Roblox on iPad with keyboard and no mouse. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.